Hi, I'm Tumai Yuya at Rhythm Society's event in Rochester and here with Darlene Garcia. He'll be talking about his bio briefly um, so he won't be answering all my questions. But um, before we get into that, how long have we known each other for? <laughs> that is a, it's a very good question. Since 2007, maybe? Uh, it sounds about right. It's about the it's about Yeah. The so it's been a while. It's been over years. And he's been such a great friend and a true brother and a mentor, um, consultant. Yes. <laughs> Everything to me over all years. Aspects. All that. Um, and I know him while he was single. Then he got engaged, and I was like the only girl crashing his bachelor party in Orlando Salsa Congress. Um, and then he got married to gorgeous, gorgeous Blay, and now he has one little son, three years old, who's gonna be a, who's a fantastic dancer now, and one on the way. Yes, one on the way. Yeah. So. Um, so excited. <laughs> yeah. So we. Your family's support, I guess, um, over the last few years, your career even done. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, um, I fought it for a while as far as like career first and family first, but it, it, without a doubt in my mind, I mean, the family blesses your career. So, you know, with their support, it only helps me push more. So, definitely, family has, has guided me to, to push more. And he is very unselfish about this too. He also supported many dance scene societies that are up and coming, um, including that I can uh, be there for New Orleans and Champaign and here in Rochester. Um, he does anything possible to <laughs> come and support for years. So now we can get into the questions that I've been given. <laughs> I know, I don't know. I'm horrible. This is my first interview, but I am very honored to have this first interview actually with Darwin. I don't think there will be any better person to have this with. So let's start with when and how you started dancing and what was your motivation? Um, you know. You just wanted to meet girls. Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, being, uh, being Dominican, you know, the, the music always was around me. Um, I kind of hated it just because um, I just uh, I didn't know what to do with it. Um, I tried asking my friends, and they were you know most of my friends at the time were uh, Puerto Rican, and they would you know start to show to show me, but then start to show off. So I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna go learn at a studio. So I, I went and took classes, and um, back in 2001. Um, definitely, I mean, uh, I, I always, you know, a lot of people always ask me, like, how can you still be doing this after all these years, and, you know, because I have a lot of people that have started with me and then, you know, dropped off mm -hmm. at some point, so um, I just try to find a different, a different drive every time, you know, whether it's working with my kids, teams, with my professional team, my seven pro, my ladies, the dance company, competing, whatever it is that I'm, I'm doing, I'm always changing it up so that I don't get bored of it. Yeah, Let's get a more good. into that. So, do you want to talk about yeah. your company and where you're located and which competition? Yeah, man, we're um, we're located in Philadelphia, um, city of brotherly love, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, we're right in Center City, right in the heart of Center City. Um, I mean, we couldn't have had a better location. Um, it's just it's convenient for for people to just go out of the, on the town and. Uh, Beautiful. You know, yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah. So we're just we're right in, right in Philadelphia. Um, the name of the dance company is Art in Motion. Uh, Latin dancers. Um, so we're basically we've, we've been at this since 2004. Mm -hmm. A lot of changes in the in the people within the company. Um, but we're we're growing fast. We're growing really fast. We have, we're up to about like 35 dancers right now wow. in the company. So it's it's pretty big. Yeah. I think it was like two of last time. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's growing really fast. Yeah. About the competitions, which competitions you entered and what? Um, I've done, man, my first competition was like four months into me dancing. That's, that's just the way I've always been a competitive person. So um, I've done it all. I mean, I, I, 
every competition that came around I, I was a part of. So I've um, been doing the, I started with the ESPN um, World Salsa Championships and that was in 2006 That's where I played second there my first time out. Um, and then moved over to the, the ESPN Championships turned into the World Latin Cup um, in which in 2010, 2011, we also placed second there. Um, in 2011, we were at 0.03 away from being first place. <laughs> but we also did Cabaret that same year, so we were like really ambitious. Um, and we placed third in Cabaret in 2011. So um, went, to Hong, went to Hong Kong last year and uh, competed there at another world stage and uh, placed uh, also second and third. Um, Chata and in the salsa one, so we are uh, we've been collecting the trophies, I guess you can say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so do you have any sponsors while you're traveling around for these competitions and congresses? No, man. You know, uh, I, there's a variety of ways. I guess people kind of get their names out there. You know, people have sponsors or people have um, promoters that kind of latch on to them and take a percentage. And I just basically worked and, you know, danced all night, making sure people knew I was there, you know, um, that had people talk about me when I, you know, when I left all the dances all night, he danced with everybody, you know, he's, his, his personality and everything, and basically it's just through word of mouth that I've gotten everything that I've gotten, you know, right. it's working hard and, and having people see me not just on stage, but or in the workshops, but also out there, you know, mm -hmm. socializing and, you know, giving people a good time because they pay for it. You know? Right. So. <laughs> um, so I know you dance and teach bachata and cha cha. Um, it's my favorite events. <laughs> and, <laughs> and salsa, but do you, have you been trained in any other um, genres or? No, I mean I I I can fake a lot of genres, <laughs> but um, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I haven't actually, I, my training is solely just on, on salsa and I grew up with Medellin and Bachata, so... Have Chata. you ever wished that you were training? Yeah, you know, it, it, it's, it's sort of like, you know, something that, that I, you always think about, you know, what, what if, what if this, what if that, but, you know, I do the, the best of what, what I can and, uh, but yeah, you always, you always, you know, I guess it's just kind of finding time to do so because you, you can still get training like and other stuff, but you know, just finding the time to, to do so. If I, I sort of look at it like as as an actor, you know, like if they got to play the role for this part, they train it just a little bit, just to uh -huh. know, be aware of it. So if I'm doing my magic or piece, or if I'm doing uh, jazz or whatever, so I try to work with different people who can give me a little right. bit of that, but not like hardcore training in, in those genres, you know. Although I wish I. Could. <laughs> <laughs> well, I already said. My favorite is Chacha. Do you have any favorite or? Um, bachata. Bachata. I mean, uh, bachata with Chacha with a, a close second, like really, really tight uh -huh. right there. But I just, I love the, the expression in both the dances. Um, I guess you can sort of express yourself in salsa as well, but um, I just love what, in Bachata, the, the music just takes me back home. Right. And, and Chacha just allows me to, to, to play with timing so much that, you know, that's what I love to do. Yeah. So, um, playing around with timing, so bachata with cha cha like right there. Yeah. <laughs> cool.